Welcome to the AACS Daily News for May 20th, 2015. The owners of Attleboro Area Dunkin' Donuts have kicked off another year of fundraising for the Attleboro Fireworks by donating $10,000 to the Attleboro Fireworks Fund. The city's 4th of July fireworks display is not part of the city's budget, and every year the Fireworks Fund seeks to raise $30,000 to $40,000 needed for the event. There was a check presentation yesterday evening in front of City Hall. Franchise owner Stephen Andre spoke with us about why they think it's important to give. A while back when they approached us, uh, the fireworks were in jeopardy. And uh, it's such a great thing for the community and for the area that we're in. And we always try to support the area and community that we are in. And this is one of those things where it's a fun evening, it's for the family. We couldn't say no to it. So what we did was we all pulled together and we decided to have an evening that the town could enjoy and that was the 4th of July fireworks so that will be happening at the uh, Attleboro High School in Capron Park this year. I've been with Dunkin Donuts 24 years. I want to say we've been doing this about 11 years. We have collection cans we leave on the counter where customers can leave their change and then we have representatives that come from City Hall that stand outside and collect in cans. Um, we have some of the best customers going around um, the city of Attleboro hands down. I have note they, they donate for every cause and this is one of the best. The councilmen's come out and councilwomen, they come out and they work our shops and they get to see the community, the people in the community, they get to say hello to them, shake hands. Those customers in return come in and support and help us out to generate the funds to make this happen. And what we do is we match them the funds for this uh, uh, ce celebration and it's all a great gathering, it's a lot of fun, the employees, the staff, and we enjoy it and we enjoy being here in Attleboro. If you'd like to donate, you can donate at any one of our Dunkin Donuts. We have one at County Street, Dodgeville, uh, Pleasant Street, I believe he said South Attleboro, collection cans inside and drive through drive through we will collect. Or you can do it right through the, the City Hall and Town Hall, uh, through the offices here. Uh, we greatly appreciate anything and everything that people can do. It's about bringing the community together and donating so we can have a good fireworks display. As the weather warms, many residents hope to get rid of excess brush by burning it during open season. Attleboro Fire Chief Scott Lachance shared with us more about how to do so safely. When you typically think of open burning, that's the homeowner that's burning brush, which is small branches. They can burn that from January 15th to May 1st with a permit from the fire department. The permits are regulated by the Environmental Protection Agency, so you issue, you issue a permit from the fire department for the year, and when you want to burn during that period of time, you just call the fire station and we can tell you if burning is allowed on that day. And you can't burn leaves, you can't burn rubbish, you can't burn building construction material, so it's really limited to twigs and branches and that type of product. You need to have a, a fire hose close by and you need to make sure that you're at least 75 feet from any structure. A lot of the information that we get as fire chiefs comes from the state fire marshal and some of it also comes from the state forestry department. Um, they, they have something, they classify days as um, class five days, which for us would be the worst days for open burning. We would typically not allow anybody to have a fire, even a campfire during those days. Those conditions mean that the ground condition is such that any kind of a fire on the ground is gonna spread very rapidly. What people sometimes don't take into consideration is that it's not just the material that's on top of the ground, it's actually the material in the ground. It's almost like peat moss, that organic material within the dirt, the top six inches or so, can actually start to combust and get on fire, and it actually travels underground a little bit. That's one of the problems we run into with bigger brush fires, especially when it's been dry for so long. And what we find typically the cause of most of the brush fires in the area, people are burning brush and it gets away from them. The second thing is campfires, kids having campfires in the, in the woods and things like that. And the third one is smoking and people throwing away their cigarettes uh, inappropriately. A any homeowner that experiences uh, a problem with open burning or a neighbor burning, the correct procedure is you should call 911 and we will certainly investigate all of those calls on a case-by-case -case basis. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.